Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we are Monday, May the 27th, 2019. And of course, we're now uh, past, uh, you know, quite a few uh, days the um, since the um, release of the May 2019 update, which happened on uh, May the 21st. So after six days of rollout, how is it going? And what's um, happening also on the insider side of things? Because this is still in release preview and slowing. So of course that means they are testing and they actually got a cumulative update there. So here's the thing. A lot of people are asking me, uh, what's the version exactly of this May 2019 update? If you know, I got a good one. Well, right now, the May 2019 update, and you can check that out by going uh, to the Windver command, W-I-N-V-E-R, uh, in search. The Windver command will give you a, a number, version number. And the version number, as uh, we could see it here, is in this um, version, 18362.116. That's what's happening now. Okay, that's what is the command right now. The, uh, the version, um, if you want, or the build number, as we call it. So this is 116, but in the insider rings, we've got dot .145 right now, something like that. So, of course, that means there's an update that's been released. And that update is, of course, um, going to be eventually pushed to us. I would guess that this week, sometime this week, maybe, we might have that update. Because we know there's a few fixes that Microsoft has said it will be pushing towards the end of the month. One of them is pushing the drive assignment problem. So if you got, you know, external hard drives or several drives, there's some kind of problem. Windows make, get mixed up or just doesn't understand how to assign the drives correctly. And it ends up with an error message when you try to upgrade. There's, of course, uh, a few little things that they are going to fix, and there's probably some new bug fixes that they have maybe just seen while the upgrade process is going on because adding to um, the fact that now um, almost anybody can upgrade it added of course tons of new PCs that telemetry is going towards Microsoft so they might have seen some new minor problems that are going to fix so there is a cumulative update coming up um, somebody was asking me you know and I still get a lot of people saying well you know I don't see it and I don't understand why it's okay. I mean, it's there. Mo there's a lot of people that don't see it because they're just taking their time. They're pushing this very slowly. So a lot of people don't see it. And and the people that uh, do see it, it means that your PC is all right. And some of you that don't see it might actually see it after the cumulative update is pushed. Also, somebody asking me, um, and there's a, a few people ask me, uh, why is it that the bill number of the image on the Microsoft website is 18362.16 or something like that and uh, it's because the image that you get from the Windows um, you know media creation tool is always the basic version of or the, the you know first version of that cumulative of that that built and what happens is that you get a cumulative update that pushes in on your computer after it installs to bring that up to the latest version of Windows 10. So it's totally normal and that's how it's working. So, you know, there are a few little things, but overall, still, this um, version of Windows 10 is rolling out really well. And as I see in the comments, because you see things and um, a couple of people ask me, you know, with all the comments you get on your channel, do you see patterns? And yes, I do when the April 2018 update arrived, when the October 2018 update arrived, I saw a pattern of a lot of people having issues. When the May 2019 update got released on the 21st, a lot of you have actually pushed it and decided that I'm not waiting, I'm, I'm pushing it right now. And for the majority of you guys that actually pushed it or did clean installs, all or the majority of the comments that I get is, everything works great, got no problem. I want to address one last issue because some people say um, have you know some missing drivers or say my Wi-Fi is gone and there are some cases where the proprietary uh, nature of a driver 
means that you might need to download it from the website of your manufacturer. So if there are missing drivers, go to the manufacturer's website and check out for the latest drivers for that hardware. And things should probably be back to normal once you do that. Uh, it can happen in some cases, but most of the time it upgrades fine. So um, that's pretty much my update for today. I'll be uh, posting another video because some people don't see or understand where to get the image. So I'll actually show you in detail and download the image myself so that you can see where actually you get the Windows 10 image for the May 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.